I'm Maya Kingma. I'm a professional athlete from the Netherlands and also enjoying a lot of other stuff in life. So we are in the south of France, uh, in the Pyrenees, it's uh, in Font Romeu actually, above Bocquera. And I just always loved the mountains. So when I was younger, we went with my parents, uh, we just like had a camper van and we just go riding like to the south of France and I just love the mountains. So I just really love to be here as well. Um, and it feels like a holiday. So um, yeah, and uh, of course a sportive one because I do a lot of training, uh, but uh, yeah, I enjoy it. And the, yeah, the scenery is just beautiful. There's like the hills and the mountains and some rivers. And yeah, I just really enjoy that. So that makes training good. Uh, so I grew up in the Netherlands in Breda and um, I lived there until I was 17 with uh, my parents and my younger brother um, and I think already from like a very early age me and my brother did some sports like I, I think I did a lot of sports from horse riding to playing a bit of soccer, um, you know, um, ballet <laughs> uh, but most of the times I was in the pool already so like uh, just like learning to swim um, yeah, ABC swimming, we call it in the Netherlands. Um, just an regular swimming, but also life-saving, um, diving, and yeah, I guess I just like swimming. And in 2010, I joined the, um, yeah, the Dutch Championships in duathlon. So it was a cross duathlon, it was a run, bike, run. Um, and in 2010, I won that in the junior category. And at that moment, the Dutch Triathlon Federation asked like, Okay, we heard you're like a Dutch champion swimming uh, and now you're winning a duathlon without swimming. Maybe you should like consider started doing triathlon. Um, <clears throat> I was a bit interested, but not too much uh, because I like swimming. But in 2012, I said, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try this triathlon thing. Um, as I said, I, I started with swimming, um, so that was my main sport. Um, and when I started triathlon, I tried to run a lot, but I got a lot of injuries. Um, like a lot, a lot. <laughs> Maybe I run two months a year, so that, that's, yeah, that's not a lot. Um, so I really had to find different ways for me to not get injured. Um, so I started cycling a lot, uh, which also improved my cycling, which is good. Um, and I think the last couple of years I really focused on just being able to continually run. So although it's just 20k a week, it's 20k a week and I'm running that every week. Um, so I think that's the biggest improvement for me that I, I yeah, did not get any injuries again. And I try to focus on how I should run. So um, yeah, the technical part of it. Not every training should feel like a training. Uh, I think that's like my biggest motto. You should not feel like you have to train. Uh, of course I have days or training sessions that are like, okay, I have to get out of the door and have to go do this run. Or if it rains, like, okay, uh, even though the weather is not great, I have to do it. Uh, but most of my training sessions, I just enjoy it. Uh, so I really train like this, this uh, polarized, so it's like really black and, and white. Uh, so I stay a lot of that time in the white sun, just really easy. And then it doesn't feel tough or whatever, and you don't get tired. So it's just a nice ride or a nice swim or a nice run. Uh, and then there are some training sessions, but that might only be three in a week or something like one or maybe two for the swim, just one for the run, maybe not even one for the run a week, maybe just once in two weeks. Uh, and one on the bike that, that are like more important, where I have to like push a bit more. Um, so training with, for the run is, is most of it cycling. <laughs> so I do a lot of bike riding. 
Uh, and I just believe if you're if you're like your whole body is fit, uh, then it will also pay out on the run. Um, and yeah, what I do with the run, I think most of the times I run only every other day. Uh, so if I start the week on Monday, I run on Monday and then on Wednesday and then on Friday. Um, so I always keep one day of recovery between it. And most of the runs are just easy. Um, and especially here in like the forest, I just want to go exploring and run a bit like wherever I want to. And also where I live at home, it's like a lot of learning just like if I could go to the forest, I will definitely do that. Yeah, as I said before, that, that used to be just like five times one minute and just one minute running on that pace because I want to feel like how it feels to run. Of course, swimming is the most technical sport, but running, yeah, for me, it also feels like, yeah, but I have to feel like how I should move and how is how fast I should go with my legs if I want to run like 3.30k. Um, so that's, that's just the feeling I try to get. And sometimes I work on the technical drills. Yeah, the race in Leeds was, was very special. I will never forget that one. Um, I think after Yokohama, even after like the, year, the races in 2020, um, I knew my, my swimming was like how it used to be, like good level again after the pandemic. And yeah, the swim was just, just perfect. Lucy Charles Barkley, she's of course super strong on the, on the swim. So we had the transition with um, Sophie Coldwell and Jessica Learman. And yeah, I, I think we, we all know like we just have to ride. And yeah, surprisingly it was just three of us. Um, but I felt strong on the bike. And yeah, we tried to improve the gap, uh, which, which worked. But I tried not to think about what, what that could mean. Uh, so I just was happy with what happened and how the race was going. And yeah, then when we hit transition two, uh, we were still with three of us and we had quite a lot of uh, time ahead. Um, so it was just focusing on the run, but I'd never run for a podium and never run with like people together. Normally I would just like be in the back or like in Calafari, I was just already like not with the first two or three. So I was running on my own and now we were with the three of us. So I was just like, okay, I will wait because I have no idea what to do. Uh, so I just stayed with uh, Sophie and Jess. Um, but then I felt like on the downhill part, I was a bit stronger. And in the first round, I heard Flora Duffy was gaining a lot of ground. So I thought, okay, we have to go faster because now I want this podium. Yeah, just breaking away in the last 500 meters. Yeah, almost like <laughs> regretted that I already went because it was so tough. Like I was, I was so dead. Uh, but then well, like, we had to run up that ramp. Uh, when I saw the finish line, I was like, okay, that's not too far anymore. I can manage that. Uh, just incredibly happy with that. Yeah, so Tokyo is going to be my first Olympic ever. I'm, I'm not sure what to expect, like also with the pandemic now, the Olympics are going to be very different, I think. I will just like do as normally before a race um, and, and we will just see because I think an Olympic race can be a bit different. People can behave different, they want to take risks or maybe they don't want to take risks. Um, so for me, it's just the same approach, just try to swim, bike and then eventually run hard. So Super League triathlon racing um, just goes out of the box, I think. Uh, it's, it's different from the normal triathlon races, um, which just is it's just nice. It gives at least something to think about, uh, just to figure out how, how to do that race, because it's really different from what we used to do. Um, and it's, it's fast, that's, that's one thing for sure. Um, and a lot can happen because it's, it's really short, but um, yeah, especially because it's short, if you like make just one very small mistake, uh, that might be like the end, like you're not gonna die, but <laughs> yeah, you might be out of the race or just losing a lot of points. Uh, and I like this, this switching between the, the orders. So uh, I never did that before, but like swimming after you run or rode, rode the bike, that, that's, that's really weird. So that's, uh, yeah, it's, Yes, yeah, challenging.
I feel I've grown a lot as an athlete. I think I feel like there's still a lot to learn, uh, so I think I can still grow a lot. How I approach life is maybe not like uh, what some people think about how a professional athlete approaches life. I just really try to enjoy life. Uh, I don't see every training session as a training session. I just try to enjoy it that I can go outside or have a good swim. Um, and I always try to do something apart from sports. I have always studied. Um, yeah, I'm 25 now and I finished my master's degree, which I'm really happy with because, yeah, we're not gonna like earn money for the rest of my life in triathlon. So I was just really happy to have something apart from it. And also with all the run injuries I had, it was just nice to like, okay, at this moment, I just, I'm just bad at being an athlete because I'm injured. I cannot run, I cannot ride my bike. So I also have a different life. And yeah, even though I'm, I'm not studying at the moment, I try to do different stuff around it. Um, so I hope like the pandemic will soon allow it to like more visit other sports facilities or go to the youth uh, training sessions or yeah I'm also like in the athlete committee I just want to do something next to only sports because it really helps me yeah get the mindset off and just not be only an athlete. <music>